All right, it's now time for Interactive. You can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store and watch a variety of live sporting action, including the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations, the Winter Youth Olympic Games as a limited overs leg of the West Indies Tour of Australia, the five-match test series between India and England and the ongoing Hockey Fives World Cup in Oman. Also, check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. Well, let's hear from our viewers and we know there's only one thing on your mind. Let's take the voice notes. I can't tell you the amount of times I had to wash my face, you know, to sail to watch the game. But I had to. And I'm glad I did, you know, up till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning just to watch the West in display. And I'm very happy and I'm very excited for them. I'm very happy, you know, internationally they've been getting a lot of recognition. And I just have to say, you know, Shamar Joseph, what a talent. And guess what, baby? West Indies is back. West Indies is back. Yeah, I, I know her as Jor Dizzle um, from X. She's literally the biggest fan, the biggest supporter of the Sportsmax Zone. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much, um, Jor Dizzle. You agree with her, though, that the West Indies is back? That's no, what she it's said. too quick, George is all. Listen. <laughs> I don't want to disagree with George this is the first time she comes on the show. Listen, she has a platform on Twitter. I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think, George is all, if you're like me, we need to be careful because today the West Indies will have us really, really excited and, you know, our, our emotions will be all over the place and then tomorrow we'll be very, very sad. So let's give them a couple more test matches. Well, we have to wait till June. July. But, <laughs> July. But, you know, let's give it some time. Let's take another reaction, please. Congrats, West Indies, on a job well done. When last we saw two West Indian fast bowlers in tandem, bowling at and over 140 gills consistently for 10 over spells. Let's find one more, please, and we can raise back to the top. Thank you. Yes. Well, Jaden Seals is injured, and if he returns to full fitness and at the quality we saw from him pre-injury, yeah. then that could be a third. He could be a third for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have another one? Bring it on. From Trinidad and Tobago. My heroes in this test that we just won, I must give it to the selectors. <laughs> we give them a trash in for the last two months. We beat the selectors, the Honorable Higgs and others. And I'm saying what I saw, I watched the entire match, is that the selectors got it right. But the team played well. Good going. Yeah, the team you know, there now. is so much I have to say on this issue, and I'm so happy that it was brought up, but I don't think we have the time to do it Can today. you say it in one minute? Um, but the, the critique of Desmond Haynes was not necessarily um, about the seven uncapped players that were selected or Shamar Joseph being selected, but was more about a lot of the inconsistencies in the explanations as to why some players were selected and others were not selected. So let us not confuse the issues here. Congratulations to the West Indies, though. Mm. Yeah. I think we have to put a word into for the coaching staff because yes. Andre Coley and Jimmy Adams and the, the coaches that have been involved with this team, um, pretty, pretty solid because usually when the team plays badly, really, really badly, the coaches take a huge knock from the fans. Yeah. And I think there has to be something that's to be said about the team management in Australia and uh, the coaches and how well they did there. I had the opportunity yeah. to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Andre Cooley. He's somebody that always makes himself available for interviews on Sportsmax whenever we reach out to him. And to me, I love the fact that he, w when I speak to him, I get the sense that you know his temperament is very, very measured. He's a person, Ricardo, he, he gives me your vibes where My he'll vibe. put everything pen to paper and you know, he, he's very measured, he's very, he plans ahead and all that. You, you know, we haven't really seen him in the media as of recent, gloating or anything about the results. So for me, that type of personality, I think, to lead this team of youngsters, because remember, seven debutants is a perfect match and coach, I think, can do wonders with this bunch of players. Quick question. Would it have been easier, you think, for Andre Coley to manage to coach this young unit than a group of more experienced players? 
Yeah, it's easier to manage these because remember, coach used to manage. Um, he used to coach the younger players before, before he yeah, he got into this. He's done a lot of work with the academy, academy so the respect. setup and so on. So I think um, he's comfortable with this group and he's he's building them. They've been his babies so from think, before. Yeah, that, that's a plus. I would say that's a plus. Yeah. One more voice note. Do we have it? Good afternoon, sports max. Mm, love this is Nico Day. I just want to say that I'm so elated that Western Indies won the last test against Australia. Even when it looked like they were not going to win, the young fellow Joseph came out, did what he had to do, and make us all proud. Congratulations, West Indies, coming from Lenny Queen all the way in Nevis. Bye. Thank yeah, big you. up the women um, for sending voice notes today. That's yeah. two out of four. Look what Shamar Joseph has done. <laughs> yeah, very, very happy to receive those voice notes. And Lenika Dyer, Lance, do you remember her? We had her yes. when we used to speak to our From guests on Wednesdays. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so she is our regular contributor to the zone. Yeah. Um, producer just telling us that Senegal have been beaten wow. at the Africa Cup of Nations. 5-4 and penalties they lost and wow. we notice a lot of the big names are going um, home are being knocked out of the Africa well, they're defending nations. champions aren't yeah, they, they are. not anymore them. yeah Ivory <laughs> Coast are the hosts yeah yes. and we saw Egypt going out to the uh, and Ivory Coast barely Republic got in Congo yeah, yeah. Ivory Coast barely got into the round of 16 so for me that's a surprising result because they hadn't been playing with any great quality yeah, yeah well, I remember. I think they were winless in their first couple of games in the group stage, Ivory Coast. It's yeah. a weekend of upsets. Yeah. yeah. Not for Trinidad and Tobago's men's hockey, though, at the no, World they are, they are Hockey Fives. High. They're in the quarterfinals, and that's Lance live so. on Sports Max 2 on Tuesday morning. I think yes. 2 30, 3 30 Eastern Caribbean time. So. TNT, they've been doing brilliantly. Let's see how well they do in the quarters against Malaysia. Yeah, thank you so much for that reminder, Lance. On that note, we gotta go, but we're leaving you with a beautiful song in the background. I think we should all sing it out loud. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>